You're such an asshole! Hey all, the old captain here. Beautiful day outside, but we're stuck indoors at Asshole Consulting. Where if you need truth, basically, you need a cold third independent party person's take on your situation in life you can ask. But this has nothing to do with it. This guy has a clarity test request. <clears throat> August rides. Hey, Cappy, could you do a clarity test on Alan Watts? Of course we can, because you paid. So let's take a look at Alan Watts. If you don't know what the clarity test is, that's too bad for you. It was a four-question test that I apply to politicians primarily, but other people, uh, if I want to consider having them in my life. <clears throat> and it's basically a way to measure whether or not I trust them. If you come from rich money, you get a point. Or rich parents, you get a point. You don't want points in this. This is a golf score. You want a low score as possible. Uh, if you majored in something stupid, you get a point. If you have no real world experience, like you just worked as a teacher or you're a nonprofit, or you just, you know, like Mark Dayton, you're a rich little fucking cunt, and all you did was suck off a daddy's tit, uh, you get a point. And then what are you doing now? Like Mark Dayton, he's a fucking career politician. You get a point. In other words, you have to be your own man and you have to support yourself or woman. Uh, and then the secondary question is, what I'd like to have a beer with this person? Alan Watts. Who the fuck is this guy? <clears throat> Was it Alan Watts? Let me double check. Alan Watts. Alan Watts. Alan Watts. All right, Alan Watts. Here's the Wikipedia entry. He's dead. Died a while ago. Alan Wilson Watts was a British philosopher, writer, and speaker best known as an interpreter and popularizer of Eastern philosophy for a Western audience. Born in Chiselhurst, England, Moved to the United States in 1938 and began Zen training in New York. Okay, hang on. Pursuing a career, he attended Seabury Western Theological Seminary where he received a master's degree in theology. All right, now the problem we have with older people, like Mr. Watts here, is that back in the day when you went to college, that actually meant something. Um, <clears throat> I kind of draw the line at baby boomers. Like if you were a baby boomer and you majored in worthless crap, it's like, yeah, you didn't have any intention. Or, and certainly today... If you're a modern-day college student and you major in the liberal arts or something worthless, yeah, you get a point. But here I'm a little, eh. I would say the fact that 1938 began Zen training, especially back in those days. Dude, this guy just didn't want to work. I, I'm sorry, he gets a point. I know, you know, it, it, it's a school and it meant something back in 1930s, but uh, I, I'm just, I'm just going to say, yeah, he, 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 um, he gets a point. Watts was born in middle-class parents. Uh, which he subsequently did that Walt's father was represented for the London office of the Michelin Tire Company's mother was a housewife whose father had been a missionary. Alright, so he doesn't come for money, so he doesn't get a point. But I'm, I'm still giving him a solid point for not doing anything. Um, he went to boarding school, spent several holidays in France in his teen years. She was in Buddhism. Buddhist Lodge, education, attended King's School, Canterbury, next door to Canterbury Cathedral. Has that been blown up yet? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. In 1936, age 21, he attended the World Congress of Faiths at the University of London. Yeah, yeah, no, right off the bat, this guy didn't want to work. I mean, that was, that was in the depths of the recession, it was global. And he's like, oh, I want to go and, and study like the World Congress of Faiths, man. Was he the original hipster? Or not hipster, uh, hippie? Uh, influences of first publication. Watt's fascination with Zen began in the 1930s and are woven. First book in 1936, The Spirit of Zen. Okay, so he's 21 and he's writing a book. This dude definitely had no desire to work hard. At 21, you don't know shit. I don't care who the hell you are. Um, yeah, so this guy, he's really starting to approach the dude, the Buddhist dude. Buddha, the Buddha, that guy. Um, I forgot the guy, the guy in Tibet. What do they call him? Yeah, he, like it's like, nah, you, you never you never worked in a mine. You didn't, you didn't lay sod. It's... Uh, Watts left formal Zen training in New York because the method of the teacher did not suit him. He was not ordained as a Zen monk. Vocational outlet, he became a pastor, worthless, no real world experience. He recounted his autobiography in 1945. Wait. 
as recounted in his autobiography, Alan's ordained. I wonder when he wrote his autobiography. Published books, Judaism. I see a lot of isms, a lot of spiritual. Moved to California, American Academy of Asian Studies, where he taught. He teaches, middle years. Watts left the faculty for a free career in the mid-1950s. 1953 began what became a long-running weekly radio program at Pacifica Radio Station in Berkeley. Like other volunteer programmers at the listener-supported station, Watts was not paid for his broadcast. Where is he getting the money? These weekly broadcasts continued until 1962, by which time he had retracted, uh, attracted a legion of regular listeners. God almighty. Guys, if I become a cultist, fucking don't follow me, okay? Man, like it's all about the ways and the universe, man. Watts continued to give numerous talks and seminars, recordings of which were broadcasted at ba da ba da. In 1957, Watts then 42 published one of his best known books, The Way of Zen. 58 toured parts of Europe. No, you know what? No, fuck this guy. He just, this isn't work. This isn't a real job. Though never affiliated for long with any one academic institution, he was a professor right there, right there, of comparative philosophy at the California Institute of Integral Studies. What the fuck is that? He had a fellowship at Harvard University for two years. They had the academic. Okay, all right. No, no, this, uh, this guy. Uh, the only saving grace is he didn't come from money. Worthless degree, worthless career. What's he doing now? He's dead, but he didn't work at all. This guy gets a solid three. Uh, for a score. Would I like to have a, a beer with this guy? Hell no. I, I don't care to talk to charlatans and frauds. Dude, man, like, I could fake having a conversation with him. Yeah, man, like, the waves of the energy that just flow through me, man, is like the ways of the universe. Like, and he'd be like, dude, yeah, man. I don't care how many books he wrote. I don't care how many of you think this guy's a genius. I, I probably could stay on par. Hey, I could do his radio show. So, like, man, I've never done marijuana, but I bet you if I did it, I'd sound like this Alan Watts guy, and you guys would believe me. Man. No, I would not want to have a beer with him. No. It would be of no intellectual stimulation to me, and I don't think it'd be of any intellectual stimulation to my, my audience. It's almost like 70s music. You had to be drunk or high to enjoy it. So, all right, three. Gets a three, and no, I don't want to have nothing to do with him. I will not read his books, and, and I will not give him any credit. See, that was the one thing. Like, he almost earns a four because it wasn't his fault he was born of middle-income parents. I, <laughs> every decision he made was like, oh, wow, man, I'm going to avoid work at all costs, man. Nah, don't have an interest in him. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.